pregnant women went to her doctor for routine blood checkup. A patient went to see a doctor. She's complaining of having a high fever for almost a week. She also noticed that she has red spots on her skin. The doctor ordered a laboratory test to check her complete blood count. Identify the patient. Check the name of the patient. Identify yourself. Introduce yourself to the patient as the medical technologist assigned. Check the fasting state of the patient. Some tests require the patient to undergo fasting or not eating for a certain time. Wash hands and put on gloves. Wash your hands in rotating motion using warm water and germicidal soap. Reassure the patient. As the medical technologist, you must act confident, educated, and experienced. Position the patient. Move the arm of the patient downward from the shoulders. Assemble and check supplies. Check the expiration dates, cracks in tubes, needles in tubes, etc. Apply tourniquet. Put the tourniquet on the arm of the patient 2 to 4 inches above the side. Have the patient to close their hand. Ask the patient to make a fist. Never have the patient to pump fist for more than one or two times. Select the site to insert the needle. Find the most prominent vein such as median and decubital, basilic, and cephalic vein. Clean and dry the site. Clean the site with an alcohol pad and let it dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Anchor the vein. Use only the thumb or index finger. Perform the venipuncture. Insert the needle in bevel up position at 30 degrees or less. Release the tourniquet. Never leave it on for more than 1 minute. Put dry gauze over the site. Label the tubes with the patient's information. Dispose used equipment. Record and report the specimen collected. Identify yourself. Introduce yourself to the patient as the medical technologist assigned. Identify the patient. 
Check the name of the patient. Check the fasting state of the patient. Some tests require the patient to undergo fasting or not eating for a certain time. Reassure the patient. As the medical technologist, you must act confident, educated, and experienced. Wash hands and put on gloves. Wash your hands in rotating motion using warm water and germicidal soap. Assemble and check supplies. Check the expiration dates, cracks in tubes, needles in tubes, etc. Position the patient. Move the arm of the patient downward from the shoulders. Apply tourniquet. Put the tourniquet on the arm of the patient 2 to 4 inches above the side. Select the side to insert the needle. Find the most prominent vein such as median antipubital, basilic, and cephalic vein. Clean and dry the side. Clean the side with an alcohol pad and let it dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Have the patient to close their hand. Ask the patient to make a fist. Never have the patient to pump fist for more than one or two times. Anchor the vein. Use only the thumb or index finger. Perform the venipuncture. Insert the needle in bevel up position at 30 degrees or less. Invert or rotate all additive tubes within 30 seconds after drawing blood to prevent clots. Release the tourniquet. Never leave it on for more than one minute. Put dry gauze over the side. Dispose used equipment. Label the tubes with the patient's information. Record and report the specimen collected.